Good morning. Come on, let's stand to your feet. It's time to worship right here. Let's go. Come on, sing. And I see lightning, I hear thunder. Something stirring six feet under. Deities coming back to life again. I believe there's about to be another resurrection. And I see signs and I see wonder. And I see birds of living color. Dead things coming back to life again. I believe there's about to be another resurrection. Yeah, we believe in God. So come alive, wake up, sleeper, and He is risen, and we are risen with Him. And hallelujah. declaration today. Come on, let's see. If you see what I see, that the grave is empty, then you know what I know. Anything is possible. If you see what I see, yeah, that the grave is empty, then you know what I know. Anything is possible. Anything is possible, anything is possible, come alive, wake up sleeper, he is a reason, we are a reason with him, paradise, hey, Welcome Bay Assembly and welcome online. God bless you. You may be seated just for a second. If this is your first time here on location or watching on live stream, we want to give you a big Bay welcome. That welcome is bigger than other welcomes. The Bay welcome is the best welcome. Amen. Welcome home. Welcome to the family of God that loves him and loves you too. We have just a few announcements that I want to share with you. But I just want to say how good it is to feel the presence of God in the house. I don't know if, I don't know if your week has been like my week, but when I come to the house of God, it just feels like I'm at an oasis in the middle of a desert place. You just get a cool drink of water and you have shade from the blistering heat. Man, I'm just glad to be here in the presence of God. So 
as always, we have an opportunity to be blessed and to be a blessing. Don't you love that kind of uh, conduit? You can be blessed and you can be a blessing. That's with tithes and offerings. See how I set that up just like that? It's with tithes and offerings. And we have about three ways to give. And uh, one, you can do snail mail, 1706 U.S. Highway 31 South. And um, we have giving stations to the right or to the left for those of you that are here on location. And then you can text to give, 84321. You can put a dollar sign there and then the amount that you would like to give. And we're able to uh, retrieve it that way. Or you can go online, bayassembly.online. Follow the prompts. You can give in a secure fashion that way as well. The Bible says that when we give, we have the ability to bring meat to the table. That means that there's something to give. We have ministry going every which way. We've got ministry that's right here on the Bay Assembly of God campus Monday through Thursday with the Dream Center. And um, now we're utilizing some of the back uh, facilities in the gym area Monday through Thursday, ministering and giving outreach love to those that need Jesus. I just want you to know that that's a phenomenal thing. Prayers are being answered because I knew God did not give us this facility to use once a week or maybe twice a week. So we are doing great things. But now hear this. That just means that there's more air being used. There's more facilities being used. There's just a lot of things being used. That's why it's imperative, especially in the summer season. Please be faithful to God. Has God been good to you? Amen. God been good to you. It's because of God you've got the job. It's because of God you've got the car. It's because of God you've got the health. It's because of God you've got the noodles in your brain to do what you're doing right now. Amen. It's because of God. So let me just encourage you. You be a blessing and then receive the blessing as well. We have um, our small group. Uh, 33 tonight at 6 o'clock. If you can make that, it's going to be a blessing on uh, just understanding some principles of God, discipleship. You will be blessed. I know you will. I want you to stand with me all over the house. Father's Day's coming up. Uh, just, uh, just a hint to everybody. Uh, you never go wrong with DeWalt power tools. Just, just saying. <clears throat> just saying. Uh, I know, I know. I'm, I'm grieving, Holy Spirit. I just went, <laughs> I just went there, right? Um, I'm going to tell you something. Holy Spirit spoke to my heart, and this is going to be a little different. You okay with different? You okay with somebody just? Uh, this is family. We're we're united. Um, I felt Holy Spirit this morning tell me that there are two specific things that I am to ask of you as far as a need for healing. This does not necessarily mean that it's the only areas that need to be healed. So why does God do things like that? It's to increase somebody's faith. You hear it? It's to increase somebody's faith. So that's why um, all I know is to be obedient, okay? And those of you watching on live stream, if this is for you, that's fine. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to name the two things that God has spoken in my heart concerning healing and another thing that is not dealing with healing at all. When you come, I'm going to ask for the elders of the church and um, ministers to come and help me pray. And then our worship team's just going to worship. When we're finished praying, we're going to go back to our seats, and we're just going to continue worshiping. Somebody has throat issues, and I don't know exactly what that looks like, and thyroid, those two things, throat and thyroid, those are the areas the Lord spoke specifically to me 
And I, it just, I wasn't asking him for that. He just said, these are the things that I need you to, to, to ask for. Somebody's faith is going to be enhanced. Somebody's faith is going to be enhanced. If that's you watching on live stream, um, you don't have to make a spectacle or anything like that. But if you just want to put in the comments, Pastor, that's me. Later when I watch that, we'll see that and go. Also, there's some money being withheld or tied up that somebody needs to be released. Something is happening that is holding back finance that is yours. I don't know if it's somebody needs to pay you for what they have or something. But God wants me to share with you today that he is, he is working right now. And you need to release that. You're worrying about it. You're, you're, what am I going to do if this doesn't? The Lord wants you to know if you'll give it to him, he will take care of it. Okay? Now, if nobody comes, I've obeyed God. If everybody comes, I've obeyed God. It doesn't matter to me. All I know is that today, I've obeyed God. Thyroid, throat. If that is you and you need healing, I want you to come. I want you to come. Thyroid or throat. Now, that's not to say that there are not other issues I don't know, let's just put it out there, back issues, right? That's not to say that there's not um, uh, hypertension or diabetes. This is just to say that the Lord has spoken to my heart these two things. Now, if we can all get together right here in the middle, Cindy, if you and Hannah will come in the middle, I need my elders and their spouses, ministers, I want you to come and I want you to stand behind us. Now, if you, if you, if you have money that needs to be released to you, it's money that you're owed or something has happened and it's just becoming a frustration. Um, I, I need you to come and I need you to stand right over here to my right or to my left. Um, and again, everybody comes, fine. Nobody come, that's fine. But that's very specific in my heart. Now, all right, very good, very good. You will function in a dual role. <laughs> all right, you will function in a dual role. Yes. Yes, I can. We've got the oil right there. So what I am going to do. I just want you to close your eyes for a second. Just close your eyes for a second. If you're filled with baptism of Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, I want you just to allow that gift to start flowing in you and through you. We are going to pray. As we pray, they're going to lead in worship. I want you to worship. I want you to stretch your hands forward this way. After we're finished praying, we're going to be released to our seats. But God is going to do a miracle in this place this morning. now has ended in the kingdom of light in the kingdom of light forever under your dominion you 
You're the king of my life. You're the king of my life. You reign above it all. You reign above it all. Over the universe and over every heart, there is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. On the cross, the word was finished. God, you poured out your life just to give us new life. Thank you, Lord. And now on the lips from the forgiven, hear an anthem arise. Cause Jesus, you're alive. Who oh, is he? He reigned above it all. You reign above it all. Over the universe and over every There is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. Let all of heaven and the earth erupt in song. Sing hallelujah to the everlasting one. There is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. You reign above it all, God. You sent the darkness running out of an empty grave. Now seated alone in glory. Enthroned on the highest praise, he sent the darkness running out of an empty grave. Now seated alone in glory, enthroned on the highest praise. I sing, he sent the darkness running out of an empty grave. Come on, now seated alone, enthroned on the highest praise. Darkness He's running this time. He's coming out an out empty, grave. empty grave. He's seated He's seated alone. alone in glory. Enthroned on the Enthroned highest on the grave. Highest hey, he sent the darkness running out of an empty grave. Now seated alone in glory. Enthroned on the highest grace. Oh, you sent the darkness running. Out of an empty grave, now seated alone in glory, enthroned on the highest praise. He reign above it all, you reign above hey, over the universe and over every and there is no Sing hallelujah to the everlasting one. And there is no He reigns forever. Yes. He's casting all darkness out today. Yes. You reign forever and ever and always. We give you glory. Let all of heaven, let all of heaven and the earth and sing hallelujah to the everlasting one. And there is no mm, Jesus. 
Jesus, you reign, and there is no higher name. Jesus, you reign. Let's lift them up today. There is no higher name. Jesus, you reign, and there is no higher name. God, Jesus, you reign. Let's sing the chorus again. He reign above it all. You reign above it all. Over the universe and all. There is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. Let all of heaven and the earth erupt in song. Sing hallelujah to the everlasting one, there is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. You reign above it all. And our God reigns. And our God reigns forever. Your kingdom reigns. Yes, God. And our God reigns. And our God reigns forever. Your kingdom reigns. Can you guys see that with me this morning? Let's lift them up today. And our God reigns. And our God reigns forever. Your kingdom reigns. And our over your circumstances today. And our God reigns over your addictions forever. Your kingdom reigns. Mm. Let's sing it one more time. And our God reigns. Whatever you're dealing with today, put that in your mind and let him know that he reigns over it all. And our God reigns. Lift it up today. Forever your king to reign. And our God reigns. Declare it, church. Declare it, church. And our God reigns. Hallelujah. Forever your king to reign. God reigns over everything. Love him, church. And our God reigns. Declare it with confidence. Forever your kingdom reigns. He reigns above it all in this place. Come on, worshipers. Come on, you worshipers. Forever and always, Jesus. Let the worshipers forever of the Lord sing his praise. Lord. Forever and always, 
You reign today, tomorrow, and forever, God. What shall I fear when you reign, when you reign? Jesus. Jesus. And our God reigns. Lift it up today. Sing it, church. And our God reigns. Forever your kingdom If you can get your hands heavenward, will you lift them in honor to a king that is worthy, a savior that is holy, and a king that is soon coming that is faithful. You are worthy. You are worthy. Do you have a song in your heart? Will you just lift it up to him right now? Hallelujah. Belon sore kate on sora manda katsu. Melon shore says in the road of And breakthrough is coming. Breakthrough is here. So let it rise. Hey. Your breakthrough is coming. Breakthrough is here. So let it rise, let it rise. Your breakthrough is coming. Your breakthrough is here. So let it rise and let it rise. Your breakthrough is coming. Yes, it is. Your breakthrough is here. Let it rise, and let it rise. All around the room we sing, your breakthrough is coming. Declare it, church. Your breakthrough is here. Let, let it rise. Do you need we a breakthrough? Sing, your breakthrough is coming. Oh, your breakthrough is here. So let, let it rise. rise, let it rise, let it rise, let it rise, oh, your breakthrough is coming, yes it is, your breakthrough is here, so let, let it, it rise. rise, let it rise, we see, your breakthrough is coming, your breakthrough is here, so let Your breakthrough is coming. Mm. Your breakthrough is here. So let it rise. Give everything to him today. And sing and declare, my breakthrough is coming. My breakthrough is here. I've got to let it rise. Hey. Your breakthrough is here, so let it rise. Your breakthrough is coming. Your breakthrough is here, so let it rise.
the Lord has brought you to a place where the impossible confronts you. But the impossible only presents itself to reveal a God that is superior to the impossible. Never a miracle ever wrought that there wasn't an impossibility first. <laughs> I just want you to know God's got you. God's got you. No mountain too high, no valley too low. No Red Sea too deep, no Pharaoh too vicious. That God doesn't have you. I want you to confirm that, and I want you to declare it to somebody that is beside you, next to you, behind you, in front of you. I want you to declare it. I want you to declare it. God's got you. God's got you. God's got you. Your breakthrough is coming. Your breakthrough is here. Let it rain. Your breakthrough is coming. Your breakthrough is here. So let it run and let it ride. Your breakthrough is coming. Your breakthrough is here. So let it run. Yeah, let it ride. That's your breakthrough is coming. Your breakthrough is here. So let it ride. You can be seated if you can. If you can't, you just stand. It doesn't make any difference to me. You can walk. You can stand. You can shout. God's in this place. God is in this place. to declare it my word is yea and amen I am already there so declare your miracle says the Lord All right. will the children of God give praise and glory that the word of the Lord has spoken to this house D, will you come and share what God has spoken to you? During that last uh, worship song, I was pretty well caught up in the worship and went into some warfare. And the Lord was showing me that he's here to break the chains and open the shackles to set his people free. But there also is an act of faith on each individual. If you want that freedom, you receive it. You walk out of the shackle. You shake those chains off. You receive the freedom that Jesus has already paid for. Do you receive that? Hallelujah. 
whom the Son has made free is free indeed. It requires that act of faith. It requires that act of faith. Um, I'm just going to say what Holy Spirit is speaking to my heart at first I thought it was just an assessment as a pastor There's no need for you to be in barren lands when God has milk and honey for you. Some body, people, this has become less than this, the journey with Christ has become less than what he intended because you have become more than what he wants. Your journey has become less than what he intended because you have become more than what he wants. He has to be first. Your journey has become less than what he intended because you have become more than what he wants. This isn't about, but God, I thought. But God, this was the way it's supposed to be. But God, these are not the plans that I had. Since when does God conform to our plans and we do not conform to His? Your life is not yours. It's His. There will be people that make it to heaven that never see the fullness of God in their life. I'm convinced of that. never will see all that God had in store because there is that withstanding, that holding back, that little bit of resistance of giving my all. There is some that God has asked more of you than what you're willing to give. Hang with me now. There's some live stream in the house. God is asking more of you than what you're willing to give. Now, what does that look like? It looks like you can live a life and you can make it and be okay. I doubt that it will even rob you of your address in heaven. But he will never be able because some people put security over God's will. There's, there's some... I'm not rambling. This is Holy Spirit led. There are some God has called for different types of ministry. But because they could not let go of, I need security. I need security. I've got to have security. They love God, but they will never experience the fullness of what God has. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's somebody in a dreadful place. 
within yourself. And there are some that God wants more, but you're just not willing to give it all. It will not cause you to... Watch this. It will not cause you to say, God, I don't love you, but you're just not willing to risk. I want you to close your eyes all over this house. There are some that have walked in this place this morning unaware that the presence of God is here. There are things that are hindering a total surrender. Lay aside every weight and the sin. Weight and the sin. Not everything is a sin. Sometimes it just holds you back. It's a weight. You can run a 50-yard dash with a weight. You cannot run a marathon with a weight. God loves you enough to pause today and simply ask you a question. What has he withheld from you that causes you to withhold from him? Some of it's your money. Some people have a real issue with money. It's not a tithing issue. It's a security issue. You haven't had it, now you have it. And what's going to happen if I do this? It's a security issue. It's not a love issue. You just haven't given it to God. What has God withheld from you? That has validated you withholding what he asked from him. In the jury, can we accuse him of not being faithful, not being consistent, not being loving, not being there, not being true to his word? Can we accuse him and can the jury come back and convict him of not carrying through? Is it the sight of the cross that causes you to wince? Is it the pain that it will invoke? Is it the loneliness that it will require? What is it that God has withheld from you that causes you to be okay with withholding what you have from him. The Lord says to me that we have so justified ourselves and have lended so many excuses. I just need to go back and bury my my loved ones I just need to go back and take care of some business I just 
I, I just got married. I, I just bought a piece of land. I just, I just, I just, and heaven emptied its prized possession for us. What have we said to convince ourselves that God is okay with us withholding our all from Him. The question that will bring you to an altar today has He ever failed you? Has He ever left you? Has he ever lied? Has pain ever kept him from fulfilling the mission that God has called him yet? We treat him as if we're justified. Well, I feel this way because they. Really? Father, forgive them. Well, the church just isn't awakened and aware. They are the ones that screamed crucify. The question, Holy Spirit, ask me to ask you. What has God withheld from you that causes you to be okay with withholding what you are from him. Time, talent, treasures. If your treasures are here and they are not in heaven, what will you have to lay at his feet? I want you to stand all over this place. This is the word of the Lord for us today. That's it. Bay Assembly, will you look up here just a moment of time? This is totally different than anything that I would have ever imagined for today. But there's conviction in this house. There are some that are walking a tightrope and you're more about justifying than you are surrendering if you're watching by live stream this is not coincidence if you spend more time in trying to justify what you're doing then praying your will be done. Justifying what you're doing instead of praying your will be done. I'm going to say it again. Trying to justify what you are doing instead of your will be done. Do you see that contrast? I'm doing, God justify it. God, what do you want me to do? Whew. There's conviction in this house. So that nobody feels ostracized. Because I want everybody to, I want everybody to know him. Candidly, my message this morning, be it anointed, be it fire baptized and God showed up, is not what some of you need. Well, it, 
be a whole lot easier if there were like 500 or 1,000 in the house, wouldn't it? So now my question is, what are you going to do with this Jesus? Not with Steve. What will you do with Jesus this morning? Will you say, I surrender all to you? Or will you yet spend energy and time justifying why you are where you are? I'm closer to the altar than you are. So I'm already here. But I just am suspicious because preachers have a gift of suspicion. I am just a bit suspicious. There, there's not a one of us in here that this word does not touch. So I invite you to a closer place with Jesus than what you are now. If that's you, these altars are open. That's it. That's it. Come if you want. Don't if you don't. If you can't come, no judgment. I, there's, no, there's no condemnation. If you physically can't come, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. You sit where you are. You will either say yes to him or no to him. There's no ifs, ands, or in betweens. What I would ask of you to do is just just ask him. Let's not take let's let's not take a preacher's word for for I don't know. Let's just ask God. Let's just ask Him. The Spirit of God is moving in this place. This is conviction, church. This is beautiful. Conviction is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. This is a matter of us simply hearing God say, I love you and I do not want to watch you walk out from my presence. You've gone too far. You've gone too far. I'm asking you to come back close to me so I can protect you, so I can bless you, so that I can anoint you, so that I can heal you, so that I can touch you, so that I can deliver you. But if you move too far, if you keep moving in the direction that you're moving, you're not going to hear me like you used to hear me. My voice has become faint. Your hunger has been diminished. There's a purifying fire that is generating in this house. The intensity of this fire is going to be able to deal with some things that we can't. It is a matter of what God wants versus what we want. What does God want from me? What am I giving God?
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. What has he withheld from me that causes me to be okay with what I am withholding from him? My Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus. I want you where you are I want you to thank him for taking you just as you are he is not mad he does not hold a grudge he welcomes you and says today is a brand new day what he desires to do in you is far beyond what you're experiencing. It's a surrender, church. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. And he wants you involved. He wants to take you along on this miraculous, joyful journey. I plead with you. I beg of you. Do not hold on to what he wants you to release. Because with an open hand, he can put more in your hand than what you're holding on to. Surrender is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing when you're surrendering to him. Today, today is a day of brand new beginnings for some. very quiet just for a second very quiet I feel this very clearly in my spirit you can keep your eyes closed you can look up here just a moment of time but for whoever says no today it is going to be so hard to come back to this place again I want you to hear me just as I felt grace and mercy, I feel the Holy Spirit of God saying, somebody better listen up. So, somebody better listen up. You will not wipe your feet at the door of heaven and holiness and just walk with dirty feet in the house of holiness. You will not do that. Somebody better listen. I feel this. I feel the prophetic. If you say no to this wooing of Holy Spirit, you will have a you will be begging God to get back to the place where you sense him like you sense him right now. Whew. I need somebody to intercede in this house. I'm telling you, church, I feel that as strong as I have felt anything. If there is a blessing, don't you dare doubt there's a woe. Blessed are they, woe be to them. Blessed are they, woe be to them. Blessed are they, woe be to them. Don't you play games with God. Don't you play games with God. I don't know who you are. I don't know if you're listening by live stream or in this house. But if you turn your back on him, you will beg to be back to this place where you feel his presence. 
Asho ore ere numande ele doraba Sidone mingara Durostu tupo robanye loromondo Sererere Ilo rombo rebanye Manekutona manye God, I thank you for conviction. I thank you for conviction. I thank you for conviction. Shure beret o da manye. Ningara mon shure beret o man suta da manye. Bororolono de menye ne no mana si koto da manye. Beren en inu du Yeah. Listen, friends, listen, listen closely. Unless Holy Spirit directs me otherwise, I'm going to leave you with the working of Holy Spirit. Because this is a personal and deep work. Will it affect the ability of Bay Assembly to touch Bay Manette? You better know it will. What you decide today, what you decide today has everything to do with what God is able to accomplish. Do you believe that? Just want you to rest a second. Just pause a second. Just that. I just want you to pause and I want you to rest and I want you to become very aware of the presence of God in this place. with repentance I say that is what you have to do and I will meet you in that repentance is where it begins I am pulling you I am wooing you but you have to make the step you have to make the step and I will meet you I say hear the word of the Lord Repentance is such a beautiful thing. I come dirty and I leave clean. I come broken and I leave healed. Shackled, I leave. Quit justifying yourself and repent before the Lord. Quit justifying yourself and repent before the Lord. At an altar will you lay yourself down? Cleanse me, O oh God. Wash me and make me clean. 
Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. The fire of Pentecost always invokes a purging, a refining, a cleansing. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Be aware of his presence and hear what he is saying to you. You are faithful. If we repent of our sins, the Bible says he is faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Will you thank him for being washed in the blood? Will you look up here just a second? I'm going to direct you as Holy Spirit has directed me. The downfall will be that we become so enamored with a destination that looks like something that we forget the wholeness of the ones who is in the process of acquiring the destination. It is very important that Sundays like this, and I've not been in a Sunday like this, and I, I don't know when. I have felt conviction in such a genuine way. And only you in your heart knows how you have received this. That's it. Make no apologies for this at all. If this makes you uncomfortable, cool beans. It's just, I just want God. I, 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 I'm sick of playing church. I've already done that, been there, tried to satisfy, tried to walk the, you know, done all of that. I just want God, friend. And watch this. In the last days, the days that we're living in, things like this are going to define and separate more than we've ever seen before. It is. It is. There, there is a great separation coming. And it, it, it's those that used to be able to blend in, they're not going to be able to blend in anymore. You're just not going to be. And there will be those in the last days that will not adhere to doctrine or a move of God like this. They will want something to, I just want to be, I just want a good word. You know, I just, tell me how I can do better. And, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot to do better in, in the Bible. And I'm all about that. 
But in the last days, there's going to be some that will not tolerate things, a move of God like this, because it's not satisfying flesh. It, it, it's, there's nothing about it that satisfies flesh. So I want you to understand the path that Bay Assembly is heading on and in is a path where God is preeminent and priority. Everything else, I, I, I'm going to let him deal with that. Everything else I'll, I'll let him deal with. Okay, But this, what has happened today, it just smells like the fragrance after a fresh summer rain. I think we might be getting to the place that God can actually do something in us. I want to leave you with this. What has God withheld from you that will justify me withholding what I have withheld from Him? If he has withheld his best from you, then give him second best. If he has withheld surrendering his entire life for you, then you don't surrender your life to him. If he has traded a place of peace because he didn't want pain, then feel free. But if he has not withheld it from you, I plead with you, do not withhold it from him. I will leave that with you. That will be the word that uh, summarizes all that God has done. Lindsay is going to be heading to Vietnam. And um, we are going to pray for her. We're going to lay hands on her because she's one of ours. And we are sending her off into a mission field. Um, and then we're going to pray for mom and dad <laughs> because they will probably need it more than Lindsay will. Uh, but God's hand is on Lindsay's life. And I want everybody to gather around her and we are going to pray that God will make this trip fruitful and that he will accomplish his will and that he will reveal things in Lindsay's life that possibly this trip is going to entail and require. You have used her in ways that truly is only you. She has already made a difference in so many people's lives just because of a genuineness and a hunger for you, O oh God. As she goes, we send her in the anointing, provision, and protection of the holy name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I pray that every spiritual sense would be awakened to its heightened level. May she hear what Holy Spirit says, see what Holy Spirit is showing. May she sense and feel what you are revealing. And Father, accomplish your will in Lindsay's life. Father, I thank you because Lindsay is coming from this house. <laughs> Father, this is a blessing. This is an answer of prayer. And we release her for your goodness, your will, your mercy, and your blessings. May the anointing of the Holy Ghost be upon her. Every prayer that she prays, I pray that the power of darkness is broken and the glory of God is revealed. Give her peace now. From the taking off to the landing, give her peace. 
guide our steps and we'll give you praise and we'll give you praise in Jesus name in Jesus name can the redeemed of the Lord say amen? Woo! Man, I'm glad I've been to church today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I don't know what's going to happen next Sunday, but it won't be on a program. And if, if churches have programs, that's not a shot. I promise you it's not a shot. But uh, I, I thought I had a pretty good word this morning. Maybe it was just for me. I'll take that. But I release you. I release you in the power and the anointing of Jesus Christ. Live your best life as you receive His life. Your best life as you receive His life. I release you in the name of Jesus. Bay Online, thank you for watching. Bay here on location, thank you for being here today. As always, let's go have church. God bless you.